Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode here at the Hunting Lodge. It's Let's Play Minecraft. So we are back. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. So last time, uh, Creeper blew all this stuff up. So I managed to get it fixed, and I'm going to do the, uh, the floor carpet trick so that that doesn't happen again in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't know if that'll be enough, but it probably will be. So in case you were unaware, you can take carpet and kind of dig down some blocks. And because the uh, mob AI doesn't like fall damage, it will not do it. It will not fall. So all you gotta do is that. So I'm just gonna fill this in real quick. We'll have a good test because it's almost nighttime. So it appears it's like a bit dark. Done. That would be wonderful. So yeah, so basically mobs see this as a uh, 3D gap. Even though there's carpet, they can't walk on carpet because they're mobs. And so they won't walk on carpet. And they just stay right on the other side. I don't think that's enough. Come close. And it is enough. Alright, great. It is plenty. Take me up yet? Okay, you got me. Come on. Come on, Zombert. Works like a charm. Can't get Perfect. Okay. So, that covers that. Alright, now on back over to uh, the nether. I'll go ahead and keep on working on that. Hey guys, so we are uh, taking a little break from the Nether Hub for a minute um, because I am getting ready for my next big project. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that the only reason that my mob grinder thing isn't working is it is definitely too close to the ground. So I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make a different one. It's going to be similar but quite different. Um, so what I'm doing right now is just starting to get the materials together to make it. And of course, what would a mob grinder be without lava? No, uh, I'm using the lava to melt cobblestone so that I can make new brick, smooth stone. Then I can turn that into slabs and whatever else I need. And then that way the existing mob grinder can uh, kind of stay where it is uh, until I'm you know, ready to tear it down and then I can still at least get some XP even though it's not very uh, efficient or good <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to do I think probably pretty much the exact same design for the most part might go ahead and make a few minor changes so pretty much once I have all the structure laid out I'll come over here up to the top and grab all the redstone and all the components and stuff, because they're just, uh, I, I'm not going to make all those, so. But yeah, 
So I've got a uh, kind of a location already picked out. Uh, it's a little ways away. And by a little ways, I mean not far at all. It's just down here when you get up to the top. And I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. And we'll just right there. Perfect. Okay. So I'm looking at doing it right above that mountain right there. That hill, whatever you want to call it. So it's going to be kind of over top of that, maybe off to the right a little bit, but way up in the sky. And it'll be roughly this size. I'm not going to do a farm on top of it. Um, after I get this grinder all taken apart, dismantled and everything, I will come back over here and probably take the farm apart and drop it down lower to the ground a little bit. So that way it's, you know, a little bit uh, more convenient. <clears throat> and then additionally, I could probably even make it a bit bigger wider or whatever the case is so yeah so lots of good options you know uh, i do have uh, a couple of little farms right now oh, at least this creeper hi creeper oh let's do that great so yeah so the the drop rate on this is not good so yeah all right so i'm going to go ahead and continue my smelting efforts and i will see you uh here shortly I'm going to do another uh, uh, portal connection here pretty soon, so I'll definitely cut back for that once I'm actually ready. But in the meantime, I'm just going to kind of uh, keep an eye on these uh, smelters and uh, make sure that I don't run out of space. I did go ahead and add hoppers to the top so that way there was a constant flow of materials going in. Um, unfortunately, when it stops or when this gets full, it will stop, so I have to leave here to take out the stuff. I want to keep so that way I can uh, repair my equipment, build new equipment, do all the different things. So, yep. So, that's pretty much uh, everything that's going on right now. Uh, I'll uh, be back pretty soon. As soon as I have a reason to come back, that is. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Okay. So, we have made our pillar. Uh, we're about 170 blocks up. And these coordinates so we have f3 so 177 169 0 so we're looking at right around mm, 22 middle one doesn't matter and zero so i just need to go ahead and light this guy okay and i just need to dig back down And one more. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we are down. Let's just get rid of this stuff. All right, so quick trip to the nether. Here we are at the nether base. We just need to get to... Go back here. Oh, so it'll be right about here. Oh, that was good. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and test this. All right, well, we made it. Portal works. So, let's get building. Okay, so we're back. Um, I got a little bit of a progress update. I made a, an infinite water source. And, oh yeah, I built all of this stuff. So, let me kind of walk you through this. So, I made some uh, redstone stuff. So that this is a three by two uh, kind of section. So when the mobs fall down, I can take the lever, push them forward, and then just punch them all. Because they'll be right here on this one block. 
section. Um, I've got hoppers going to the front and the back. Uh, hoppers come around. You can remove these hoppers and go to the steps. So then let's go ahead and head upstairs. And I'll show you the next part. Okay, so here we are on the first level. So I went ahead and <clears throat> put some pistons in right here. And I have a uh, torch power right there to power these. So if for whatever reason you need to stop a flow of mobs coming from the top to the bottom, I have a torch to do that. Just make sure I put it on the top. And I have this oh, shoot, three block wide uh, section in here. Okay, so it's uh, three wide and eight deep. And let's just go ahead and take that. That'll fall down. We'll throw it in the water. There it goes. Okay, perfect. And we can use that to push up. All right, so yeah, so this is. And then there, as you can see, we've got the uh, the front. So next up, I just need to go ahead and finish building this out. Um, do the uh, kind of the same construction idea I did over there. Uh, I just decided to widen it, widen this, and then close that. So yeah, so I might uh, go ahead and do like a, I don't know, like a time lapse or something. Do a little fast forward thing of me building the next, uh, next little section. So uh, all right, well, let's get to it.
uh, new access water to the back and got rid of the slope and all that crap. So yeah, so I think this is uh, pretty much going to do it for today. Uh, I think we had a good start on this uh, um, farmer XP farm grinder 2.0 version. So yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So hey, thanks for watching. And, uh, Leave a comment, leave it down below. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have any questions, uh, just uh, put it in the comments and I'll leave it below. Otherwise, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.